Welcome back to the next episode in the NCAA 14 USF Bulls Dynasty Rebuild. As you can see, after our last game against Louisville, we hit all our goals. PJ got a big boost. boost. Thank you, Damon. Appreciate that. I could just retake this intro. I'm not going to. Brian Sullivan also got a big boost. However, Justin Weber, Weber, I'm going to assume it's Weber. I still am not 100% sure, but Weber is just, that sounds terrible. He ended up committing. So now we're in the top 25. We're actually up to 19, and we play against Houston at Houston. I'm going to sim this game. I actually could not care less about an undefeated record. or We're not going to go to the bowl this season either, so I just don't care. Um, it's about the future, man. It's about the future. Now, this is the dude who just got here. Yep. So, PJ Thomas, why? I'm confused. Why is Miami that close? Are we going to lose out on this dude? There's a good chance we do. Um, okay. And then the wide receiver is the other one. Sullivan. Ooh, we might not get all these guys. I'm so confused on why the point system is going so poorly. We should have gained so much more on Miami. I mean, we got 900 points for him. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to get Mark Johnson. It's going to be close. Harold Reese is someone we should be able to get. We can schedule him. I'm going to say week 12 against Memphis. We can't schedule Workman yet. Hmm. I don't know what the strat is. Is Brian Sullivan even attainable? I, I, I'm, dude, I'm just at a loss. This, this seems kind of like not consistent. All right. So overall wise, we are gaining more on Prince Beverly, which is good. No one else is gaining. Uh, Mark Johnson is always going to be a battle. Hmm. Penn State found out about Cortez Ball. We're going to max that out. Maybe should have done that from the get-go. Tyson Brandt. Yeah, it's just saying these teams are going up by like a thousand, but they're not. I think we'll get Tyson Brandt. Clint Mueller, I think actually projects him to be a tackle. Or no, maybe it was Marcus Collier that was the tackle. Okay, good. Uh, we can schedule him. Would it be better to do it sooner or later? Hmm. If we get a big gain for him, right? We get plus 500. We would have to also lock him up, though. It's just a matter of whether... I don't really know what the strat is, I'm going to be honest. Hmm. We're going to do... We're going to do SMU. I think that's the play. We are gaining on him still, slowly but surely. David Duche, maybe how you pronounce it. We're gaining Josh Tillman. We're gaining back on. I do really want to get him. PJ Thomas, very confused on this. I don't understand. Are we going to get him? Are we not even close? I'm not sure. Bu Scott, Bo Scott. We really want, and we're going to commit to trying to get him. I'm going to put 550 on him. Michael Johnson, he's pretty much a lock, I would say. Brian Sullivan's down here. Harold Reese, this dude we're gaining on slowly. That's good. Um, I think we're good, dude. Let's go ahead and make sure that we don't have a schedule available. Okay, we do have one on Eric Brown. We'll do it at Memphis. Back to scheduling. Whoops. Bottom, we already have the potential. 
David's really close. All right. That's pretty good. Like I said, we're going to sim this week. I just don't care. I don't want to play it. I want to go ahead and get to week 11. I want to get through this first season so we can actually get players that I'm truly invested in. Pretty much on this team that right now that I'm invested in is like Chris Carter, although he's kind of been selling me a little bit lately. We do actually win simming, so that's cool. Chris Carter is cool. Brian Batie, sick. I'm having so much fun using him. Uh, our QB I'm not in love with. Off the top of my head, I think there is one receiver that I like. I know the the senior's pretty cool, but I'm not like in love with him, and he's going to be gone after this year, so I don't want to care that much about him. Um, we have a bunch of recruits ready to visit. All are 74 or higher. Okay, good. Um, NCAA double-A player, seven receiving touchdowns in a season. What just happened? Okay. Apparently it was a really good game for us. Uh, players of the week. What? Who Who won this? Dwayne Bowles had a sack, a forced fumble, a tackle. Or, I mean, four tackles. All were for a loss. Nine assisted tackles and an interception. Okay. However, the team we play this week is Notre Dame, and they also had a player of the week with 366 yards and three touchdowns and 16 receptions. Oh, my God. What are we ranked right now? 14 and they're nine? Are we bowl eligible? Well, I mean, we're eligible. Why are they They're ranked number nine and seven and two? There's no way. How bad are the teams this year? <laughs> There's a bunch of undefeated teams. I mean, Notre Dame just straight up just... I guess there's just not really any teams with one loss. North Carolina? I mean, that's actually insane. And North Carolina should be higher than Notre Dame, to be honest, but... I'm, I'm actually kind of mind-boggled. What? So am I actually... Probably going to end up, like, top nine. Okay. If I win, I, of course. I'm assuming we don't have anyone on the Heisman watch, as we definitely shouldn't. Uh, a bunch of great players here. All right. Anyways, back to what I actually need to do. I have two major upgrades here. Um, I will go ahead and do that. How close am I? I'm one upgrade away from unlocking that, so that's cool. Over on this side of things... We want our stamina for our defensive players up, as well as um, our injury rating. <clears throat> it says we've already allocated. Oh, I guess we, we kind of have stayed where it's been. All right, Prince Beverly. I hope no one's trying to get him, dude. I really, really want him. Mark Johnson, Cortez Ball. Dude, Penn State's gaining. Uh, we're going to be in a battle. Luckily, he won't cut us out if they manage to somehow take over the lead. Now, I actually need to make sure that no one wants to visit. And Cortez Ball does. I don't think it's risky to straight up go in the last week available. I don't know if Penn State will even get to this point, though. I'm going to go week 12. I think that's maybe a bad idea. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Casey Thomas, we are gaining on slowly but surely. Um, Tyson Brandt, we actually lost the lead because South Alabama did their visit, but we barely lost it. Okay. Clint wants to visit. Is anyone competing for him? Not really. So I guess maybe we also do Memphis. Um, this one we already have scheduled. We're slowly beating out Baylor, David, Duche. We can schedule. Uh, probably want to do... Once again, he's no one's going after him really, except UConn is a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and schedule him also for Memphis. Josh Tillman. 
We could do either one. And we are in a battle here. He's already visiting week 14. We're going to do... Against SMU. Okay, perfect. Uh, PJ Thomas. I mean, we're just going to lose that on. Straight up. I don't... I don't know if we'll even be able to stay in the race. We're going to leave it, because in like two weeks we'll find out, for sure. Uh, Mark Brown is just not happening. Okay, good to know. Bo Scott, we're gaining slowly. Um, Michael Johnson, pretty much going to be guaranteed. I think we're good. The Gator shot up there. Miami and UCF probably end up actually taking Brian Sullivan, which is... Super sad if that's the case. Harold Reese is already scheduled. I think we're good. <clears throat> I think we've done everything we need to worry about for now. We're going to go ahead and play against Notre Dame. They are now easily the best team we've played. However, rank number nine with two losses is wild. Definitely should be a fun game. Um, is there anything to keep note of? Let's see. Uh, Xavier Weaver, that's probably the wide receiver I'll miss the most. But even that, he doesn't have a ton of yards. I don't know. Joe Alt. Ooh, that's cool. He got drafted. And they're missing two tackles on the right side, as well as a middle linebacker. <clears throat> I didn't really expect to be a competitive team in year one, I'll be honest. This is a little bit of a surprise. I'm on the hardest difficulty you can be on. Um, but hey, I guess it is what it is. We showed last game that we played, we can't score on opening drives. And if we're going to need to do it against anyone, it'll probably be Notre Dame this year. Yeah, dude, they're fast. Oh, this is, this is not going to be easy. Last game, he was 3 for 7 for 70 yards. Oh my god. What is simming like? <laughs> Are we actually just a run-only team? Seven called passes, and we only completed three, and we won by a good amount, too. Okay. If that's what it sims, that's what it sims. I don't really care that much. But I guess that is kind of cool, maybe? I don't I don't really know if that's cool or not. It doesn't matter right now, though. What matters is putting together a good drive. That was so scary. I felt so much pressure. We threw a dangerous pass, but a good one nonetheless. Coffrey Brown... Maybe that's the person I'll miss the most. Coffee Brown was insane the last game when we needed him to be good. Uh, I low key kind of like all the receivers. Yeah, and, and Xavier just doesn't turn around. The game doesn't let you. That's a pick. He had him burn. I, I just, I expect my QB to make a good throw. And our QB's arm strength is maybe 20. Oh god, that was so bad. Uh, I thought... I didn't know that... Dude, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is going to be a bad game. <laughs> this is Jading Greathouse. That's a wild name. Yeah, this is going to be a bad game. Is what I'm very quickly coming to the realization of. They're going to be a more physical team. And unless we play absolutely perfect on my end... It's, it's not going to be easy. We played that well, so that's good. We get to second and ten, forced the incompletion. I thought he had me burnt a little bit, but he had to jump for the catch. So I can't really sell out for the run, which is kind of a problem, because I know if they do run, it's just going to kill me. Audric Estemi. Interesting name, but we do get a tackle for loss there. Puts us in a good spot to maybe, potentially... Three and out them. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket and assume that's going to happen. And I deflect it, I guess. Antonio Greyer doesn't want to intercept it. I'm trying to. He didn't want to. All of a sudden, I have a little bit of confidence on defense. And assuming that I don't expect my QB to be half decent and make a throw that any collegiate quarterback should probably be able to make uh 
As long as I have no expectations, I guess, of him, we, we might have a shot in this thing. I actually thought I was going to like this QB, which is maybe the funniest thing about him being as bad as he has been. Maybe I'm being a little harsh right now. He hasn't been terrible. He hasn't been good. His arm strength is that of a pool noodle. And the quicker I come to terms with that, maybe the better. Because uh, I can't throw it to the guy I wanted to. I mean, what is that, actually? Did he get hit and I just didn't realize it? Let's, let's take a peek. No, that is that is my quarterback's just regular throwing. Okay. <laughs> um, no wonder he only threw the ball seven times. Coach saw what he was doing and made a good decision. I respect it, and unfortunately, it's third and seven. I don't know if I can can run it all the way down the field, but we make a good pass there. We needed it. Thank goodness it happened. I'm pretty sure I have someone visiting. I don't remember who it was. I don't know what my goals are for this game. So we're just going to have to play normal. Why am I passing so on first and 10? Oh my god. The NCAA gods are conspiring against me, dude. There's no way. I'm going to lose this game, and I don't even feel like I'm playing bad. I'm getting so sold right now. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead and run through him. Oh, he's getting summoned by the devil. It's a first. I don't know how. Okay. Watch it be Jerry. It's supposed to be pronounced Jerry. That'd be hilarious. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, maybe we're driving. We shouldn't be, probably. But we are. Oh, Beatty fumbled. Batty. Fatigue. All of them. Oh my god. I'm telling you, I can't, I can't do anything about that. That is so out of my control. My quarterback can't throw a football half the time. Oh, was he down? Oh my god, please tell me he was down. Oh, he's, he's down. His knee was down. Oh my goodness. Please. It looks down to me, dude. These animations are not reliable, though. It's reverse. Let's go. All right, we still have the ball. All right, we are in it. Look how quiet the crowd is. They can't believe their eyes. They're like disappointed, but they also are just like, oh, "We're gonna lose. We know it. There's nothing we're gonna be able to do." As circle was wide open, it just took a little too long to develop, and they got instant pressure. My, my wide receivers, just as much as I'm enjoying them, and some of them make good plays occasionally, they're not good enough to beat press. And these other teams know it, and they're punishing me for it, as if it's my fault. I didn't recruit them. We're going to slide after a big scramble. But we just can't beat press. We're not good enough to do it. And unfortunately for us, that means really... Uh, it's always dangerous stepping back to make a pass because I don't know if they're going to get wide. And Brian Batie, good run there, dude. We need that desperately. It is raining. Maybe that's playing a part in my wide receiver's inability to catch footballs and my QB's inability to throw it. I'm going to do something crazy. Okay. I, why would I do that in first and goal anyways? The guy was wide in my defense uh, it just obviously that was still a bad decision running full speed backwards in the rain with already the uh, evidence that we can't make standing throws you know all right this is this isn't bad let's just make sure we capitalize huh Ooh, i like this i like this we're gonna flip it to the left I think we have a shot here. We're going to cut it to the right. Oh my goodness, he gets just stopped, dude. Brian Batie. So close. Yet so far. Do I trust a fullback dive? I'm going to be honest, I don't. 
I don't. I don't really know what to call here. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll do pay, PA Dig and see what they line up in. I would love to run it here. I don't want to run a counter. Uh, what happens if I switch to stretch? Uh, I don't know. This is going to be bad. We cut it up. Okay. Okay. This is a statement game if we win. This is a statement game if we can pull off this victory. Nord Noder. See, I'm doing the, the accent thing because I'm misspeaking. Notre Dame is uh, an independent team. So they don't play in a conference. So it's not like we're really derailing their bowl game hopes, I don't think. But, I mean, it would feel good to make them drop in the rankings. Maybe more than it would make me feel good that we raised in them. I didn't get this level of respect when I did my James Madison rebuild. Year one, I went undefeated. They actually couldn't have cared less. Oh, wow, I can't believe. can't believe he got six out of that. That's the problem. These, this team is just going to be better than us. Physically. So we're just going to have to play smarter football. The game might have froze. I think the game froze. Um, okay, I will get back to you. It might freeze. I'm going to give it a minute. We'll see. Well, the game froze. Uh, I waited a little bit, and it never resumed. Uh, I'm not going to go back and then play. You already know that I was going to win, clearly. I was winning. That's good enough for me. I'm going to go ahead and advance. We're probably going to lose. Oh my god, we won. Oh my god, we won. The game knew. Notre Dame tried to cheat us. They knew they couldn't handle us, so they froze the game. Oh well, bro. Even in sim, I kick your ass by, you know, three points. Hey, hey. Quiet down. Look, a win's a win. And I'll take it. Now, the next question we have is, where does that put us in the ranking? Mark Johnson, 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 lock us out. PJ committed to Miami. Reggie committed to North Carolina. Brent Whitfield locked us out. I'm pretty sure we were the only one that he wanted. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. Um. Okay, interesting. 14 point comeback victory. That's cool. All right, sick. We're now, we took their place for number nine. Um, recruiting went terribly, apparently. Mark Johnson. The thing is, is he was supposed to visit us. And I didn't think UCF would manage to knock us down 1,700. That just doesn't make sense, dude. It literally doesn't make sense. Now, how much of a bonus does a wide receiver like get if we... You get like 900 plus 700 would be... Would we be beating them? I don't think we would. I'm going to be honest. I'm so confused on why we lost out on that. That doesn't make any sense to me. But dude, honestly, fuck UCF. I should have been them. There's no way. I, I have more questions than you could physically understand. Do I unlock this dude? If I can? Is it worth it? Ole Miss got Brant, Brant to visit. We're not locked out. Thank God. We're going to get right back in it. And maybe knock... We'll knock out Alabama out. South Alabama, I think. We're not going to knock out Ole Miss. 
All right, let's let's sort by overall, please. I still haven't gained on Prince Beverly. We're going to put this up to 700. Why not? Cortez Ball. We're losing a little bit week by week. We're going to stay in it enough that we can win him. I'm really upset about Mark Johnson, dude. I'm kind of speechless almost. Casey Thomas, another player. Uh, I mean, we're not really close. I guess I'll do week 13. And we're going to bump his up to 700. Oh, I'm disappointed, dude. I really am. Quint, Mueller, I don't really need to worry about. Um, We're fine here, I think, too. This one, also probably fine. Hmm. E.J. Thomas, dude. Really committed. Unbelievable. Uh, I guess... What? Wh how did you guys come out of nowhere? What did you do? I'm going to schedule 600. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm at a loss. I feel like I'm trying to get all these prospects, and then maybe it's a little unattainable. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just... I mean, do we call it an episode? Yeah, we, we already played, like, a game, kind of, right? I'm going to call it an episode. I appreciate you tuning in. This was a weird one. Uh, the next one will hopefully be better. <laughs>